confidence right now coming off the Memphis game. You get the start here tonight, and you finish with 15 points. You only miss you only miss one shot coming off that 30 point game. Just how good are you feeling? Uh, I mean, feel good. This is something I know I can do. So I'm staying level. Uh, I haven't really done anything yet. It was a two-way exhibition game, so it doesn't really mean much to me. So just continue to build off of it. Yeah. It's a shame they don't count. Yeah, right? <laughs> you know? It'd be a good start. What's, what's 15 and uh, 33 and 15? You'd be averaging 24, I think. It's a good start. <laughs> yeah. it gets, okay, we'll get it back. It gets more in aisle yeah. for the 24 points again. <laughs> really? Yeah. We'll get it back, though. What are your, what are your expe expectations here eight days away from – this thing really getting going. Like, what are your expectations for this season? And maybe the start of this season. Now we're ready. I think we're going to shot a lot of people. You know, this wasn't a big team that we played, but uh, we're continuing just to increase our effort on the offensive boards. But everybody had an effort and, deep, and intensity on the defensive end and defensive rebounding. So I think that's the most important thing. We're such a talented team. We're going to score on off nights even. We're going to score. Uh, it's going to be special when we're high. But what we just need to continue to preach is our defensive intensity and offensive rebound. So once we continue to put that yeah, like I agree. It's it's almost like if you guys get a steal, wherever it is on the court, it's like the anticipation is sort of like, yeah, somebody, somebody here we go. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Like, do you feel that at all? Absolutely. I mean, absolutely. It's, absolutely. Watching it, you kind of feel it. This is the fastest team I've ever played with. So as soon as there's a miss, a miss shot, a steal, a turnover, whatever it is. Ian is out, I'm out, yep. Elliot's pitching the ball ahead, RJ's out, the bigs are out, so it's really fun just being able to run and just create plays. What do you think, uh, in terms of Elliot, you, and RJ, as a three-guard group, not the biggest group in the world, but um, could be guys that are hard to stay in front of, I feel like. You know what I mean? Like, what, what kind of stress do you think you could put on – other teams with the attributes that y'all have. I mean, you're not six six, but you've got other things going on. Right. For you. Uh, no, just having three point guards on the court at the same time, uh, we can all do a little bit of everything. It's going to be really, really special for us. It's going to put a lot of pressure. Uh, they're going to have to guard our drives, and then they're going to have to contain the kickouts and open shots and then the drives from that. So there's going to be a lot that opposing teams are going to have to contain. And then just being small, I really think it's not an issue at all. I've guarded Dave my whole life right. uh, in high school. I guarded David Joplin every other game, Patrick Baldwin. Uh, you guys are six, seven, six, nine. So I've been able to do that all my life. That's no stress. We just need to continue to. Dominate the defenses and offensive boards. And make them pay with your speed, right? Absolutely. That would be the biggest thing. I don't think we might be the three fastest guards in the ACC, so we really just have to. Seth, with Ben, does he, I mean, he finishes the team's leading rebounder tonight. Does he remind you of Harrison at all, just the way he sort of plays bigger than his height? You know what? I never thought it that way, but you're the second person to say that, and I can I can see the resemblance. You know his his aggressiveness uh, to go pursue a rebound, uh, his stat line 18 to 12. That's very much a Harrison Ingram stat line right there. So I mean, definitely I could I can see a little bit of resemblance. How close were you to actually finishing that lob from uh, I think it was RJ? I was RJ threw the ball too high. <laughs> I can jump, I can jump, but nobody was getting that one. It's hard nobody to throw the ball too high. Right? Yeah, you can do it though. You can do it. You did it. But I gave him a little bit of crap. Um, <laughs> Going back to playing the three, you're not the prototype, but maybe you are more now than the way the way with the way the game has changed and with the way that you guys play. I caught it came in on the end of what you were saying to happen. What are the ways that you can make other teams pay if they're trying to be traditional player and you're playing the three? Uh, my speed, uh, my ability to create, and just you know my ability to push the ball off of uh, off of defensive rebound. You know I get it, I'm gone. RJ gets it, he's gone. Elliot gets it, he's gone. So. We're just all guys who can do kind of some of the same things. You know, we all specialize at something, but we all can do a bit of everything. It would be dangerous just because I don't think there's a three and the ACC, you know, is quick and as, as, as twitchy as I could be. I know you said something in Memphis about how the, the one of the two go back to the don't crash the offensive board. And you're a three, you crash the offensive board, mm -hmm. especially on the weak side. Mm -hmm. That's, I would imagine that's an advantage. Yeah, I got to do better, though. I didn't get one today. Uh, be, today could have been a game. I got at least three or four. <laughs> But I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have, yeah, I'm gonna have to crash. The rim today. Yeah, that's be, very true. That's yeah. very true. Most of my stuff is very true. Also, um, the same with the three. Problem. The guy can't get the ball and he can't score. But you're going to be in situations where some bigger guys may try to take you down and post you up. What is your strength as far as pushing off the back? That's fine. I'm in front. I'm in front for as long as I can. And uh, when they don't get the ball in, you know, if they get the ball in, then I've got you I play straight up. But I don't think I'm really a guy who you need a double with unless he's a 6'10", 3", which I don't really think there's any of them in the ACC. But 
No, I have no problems. You know, I got a good lower base. You know, I'm somewhat strong, so you know, I can guard much better. Rotating over. Exactly. Exactly. So we'll be fine. Yeah, we'll be fine. So we will pencil you in for 24 points a game during the regular season. Is that what was that? 24 points a game during the regular season. We're gonna shoot for it. That's yeah. So we gonna we gonna try and keep it going. I don't think you should be called Mr. October. I'm just kidding. Mr. October. <laughs> we can. Yeah, I don't know the world hey, series. It sounds good. It sounds good. We're good. kicking around ideas up there. You know how it goes. Yeah, yeah, and it's literally the biggest difference is just believing in myself. Like that's that's literally all. Just things are popping. Definitely, definitely. Last year I felt like maybe I couldn't do this and that, or maybe I was timid to, but. I'm too good of a player to hold myself back for a third year, so there's no chance of doing it. What's been the biggest thing 